So have you guys been getting inundated with ads on Facebook and Instagram for a belt squat attachment that mounts to your squat rack? I know I have. So I built my own. So let's head over to the metal corner here in the garage and see what I have that I might be able to make this belt squat attachment out of. So here's some two by three. Uh, looks like what? Three sixteenths maybe? That'll definitely work. Got more than enough of that. Now I gotta make the end that through holes or you know through bolts to the rack. I can cut that out of uh, maybe this here. Scrap four by four, I can use that. Put that over on the bench. Actually, I could probably use that for the end cap and the part that's gonna get through bolted to the rack. And then I need the tube to hold the weight plates. Uh, this might be the right size. I'll have to check that against a weight plate. So we'll take this over to the, to the workbench. All right, and then let me grab a weight plate, see if that works. And I'll grab that three, that two by three, three sixteenths tube. All right, so I grabbed a little five pound weight. Let's see if this is the right size tube. Oh, perfect. That'll be perfect for holding the weights to the bar. So now I just gotta start and cut everything to length. All right, so I want my bar to be about 30 inches long. So measure that out right to yeah, there. All right, and we'll start my gloves. Start getting this thing cut out. All right, so I've got those two plates cut out and those are gonna be the end plates that actually, uh, the, the bolt goes through to hold the, the arm to the squat rack. Now, when I cut those out, the steel bowed uh, kind of like snapped back to where it wanted to be. I guess it kind of, you know, the tension got released from the, from the square tube, so it caused them to bow so I set them with a bow out from each other, and then I just put them in the bench vise and then clamped them together to get that bow out. I'm gonna tack them together, and then I'm gonna drill the hole for that through bolt, and then I'm just gonna trim those, clean them up, trim up the edges, kind of round the corners, stuff like that. All right, with all that welded up, I'm now gonna make the end plate. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna weld onto the end 
the other end of the tube like that. And then there will be a hole at the top where you can attach your chain from your belt so that you can do your squats. My gas is off. Yep, gas is off. All right, so once I got the, the end plate all welded on and got the hole drilled and everything, and this is, like I said, this is where your chain goes off of your belt to do your squats. It was time to work on the pole to hold the plates. So I took some two inch tube, cut some three eighths plate to size, and I drilled and tapped the end for a three eighths 16 bolt. And then I just drilled through both sides of the tube there. And now I can take a three eighths bolt, put it up through the hole. And like I said, this will get a washer eventually, but just now for, for fit it, for fit up, this is just fine. And then I can mount the pole. Now, obviously I got still got to cut the pole this size. It's probably going to be like 14 and a half inches or so, but I can start the bolt. Now the threads are still a little rough. I think that bolt may have gotten marred up a bit from all the work, but. Now I have the pole, just gotta cut it to size. So after a few hours of work and some scrap steel, I made my own belt squat attachment. Now, still needs some weld cleanup, needs some paint. Um, it's not as, finished looking as the ones you could find online, but it'll work. Um, the only issue with it, it doesn't fit my rogue plates for some reason. It fits every other Olympic plate, but the hole on the rogue plates must be just a hair smaller than what a standard Olympic plate. I don't know, for some reason the rogue plates don't fit. So eventually I'll have to replace that that rod, I'll have to replace the tube where the pl that holds the plates, but for now, it'll work. Appreciate you guys for watching. Hit that subscribe, hit the bell. I'll see you on the next one.